And of course, one year after the deadly attack on our consulate, the Justice Department has indicted suspects, but no one has been arrested for the murder of Sean Smith, our ambassador, and two other Americans. Congressman Trey Gowdy joins us. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Greta. How are you? I'm very well, Congressman. I know that you're so frustrated at the pace of this. You and I have spoken many times. So when, when are we going to get some progress in this? When are we going to get some arrests? When are we going to get the names of the survivors? And when are they going to testify? Well, Greta, we got two parallel tracks. One is the law enforcement track and when the Bureau is going to uh, bother to serve those indictments. Uh, we've had no arrests, no convictions, no sentences meted out. That, frankly, Greta falls under the commander in chief. Uh, he's the boss of the AG and he's the boss uh, of, of the head of the FBI. So from a law enforcement standpoint, uh, Daryl Issa and Jason Chaffetz and myself can't prosecute. We can't arrest. Now, we do have a role. And I have been frustrated with the pace of, of, on our side of it. It's been a year. And the same questions Ms. Smith had this time a year ago uh, remain. Who, who will approve the, the facility in Benghazi despite the lack of security specifications? Uh, the failure to send assets during the siege, the talking points. We have another chance next week to jumpstart this investigation despite the fact it's been a year. And if we miss that opportunity, uh, that, that my fear is uh, that, that those responsible are going to will turn to some answers that Ms. Smith and others deserve. Here, here's what I find so perplexing. We, apparently we have an indictment charging people. We know where they are in Libya. We can't make the arrest. Libya is not cooperating. And I would think that that would be something that the President of the United States and the Secretary of State and the Secretary of Defense would be aggressively pursuing. And yet today it is Senator Ayotte and Senator Lindsey Graham who are writing the head of, who are writing the president of Libya saying, help us. Why? I mean, I don't even know why it's their job to do this. Uh, Lindsey Graham, frankly, has done more to bring uh, the offenders in Benghazi to justice than the commander in chief. Uh, remember the, the incident in Tunisia when he wrote uh, the Tunisian government and said, if you release this witness, uh, there's going to be a heck to pay. I, I don't know why the president, despite the fact a year ago, he said, we're going to move heaven and earth to get justice for these four. I mean, this was our ambassador. Greta, our ambassador was murdered and it's been 12 months. And they claim they know some of the people who have done it or else there wouldn't be indictments. But reporters can find these uh, defendants, journalists can find them, but the premier law enforcement agency in the world can't find them. You know, I, you know, every day that marches on, the fact that we know who they are, and the fact that journalists can talk to them, and the fact that the the, uh, war, the indictments have not been executed in any form in terms of going out and picking them up with a, a warrant of some sort, with of course the the permission of the of Libyan government, makes me enormously suspicious that there's something we just don't want anybody to know. I mean, because you can't, I mean, why are you hiding behind something? I mean, every other law enforcement deal goes, action goes right through the system. What are we hiding that we can't talk to the survivors? We can't get the witness I sta I, witness I statements. I mean, there's something, I mean, why shouldn't I be suspicious? Well, we should be suspicious. And, and, you know, human nature tells us that whatever, if this were good news, it would have leaked out a year ago. Uh, things that are positive for this administration, like the killing of Osama bin Laden and, and other things, leak out when they're not supposed to. Something that's not good for this administration, we never seem to find the answer to. Yeah. I, I would like to issue subpoenas. Uh, uh, subpoenas mean something to me. And I, uh, and in my I, previous job, I could issue them, but I can't do it well, as, I, as a I hope, backbencher. I, well, I hope, you get, I hope you get some subpoenas out there. Congressman, thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am.